Recently, I found this Arduino-like ESP 8266 base board on the internet. It costs about eight to ten dollars. Instead of 18 mega 328p chip, it uses 8266, which makes some Internet of Things project become possible. It has 11 digital pins, one analog pin, a 9 to 24 volt power jack. Most of our Arduino project might be able to be transferred to this board. I was thinking about to start with something simple, like connecting a DHT11 module to the D1 board and use the Wi-Fi internet to upload the data to the cloud-based platform like uh, ThingSpeak. Temperature and humidity data can be acquired easily with the connection of the left pin to a digital pin, middle pin to a 5V BCC, and the right pin to the ground pin. I made some wires to connect the sensor to the board so that I can still keep the board in my house but the temperature sensor outside the window to detect the environment factors. Now we can connect the DHT11 data pin to GPIO2, VCC to 5V and GND to ground. If you never install the ESP8266 board driver on your Arduino IDE, you need to go to the board manager, search ESP8266 and install the driver first. After you install the driver, plug it in and your board can be recognized by your computer. Now you can find more option boards for you to select and we are going to use the Wemos D1R2 board for the following project. The same speed library is need to be installed for data uploading purpose. So go to Sketch, Including Library, Manage Libraries, search and install the same speed library. Now we can start to set up the SingSpeak account. So let's go to the SingSpeak website and register a new account. After you log in the SingSpeak account, we can start a new channel to upload our temperature data. Uh, clicks on the new channel. You can put the name of the sensor in this field of the name and in this project the sensor data 1 will be temperature and the sensor data 2 will be humidity. There's also some other things you can play around to make your IoT project awesome, like uh, putting the axis and the title into these two charts. Now there's still last thing we need to do in the ThingSpeak platform. We have to get the API key from it. Uh, the API key will be used later for data uploading from our D1 board. I'll put the code in my blog so that I can download it from the link below. And let's put the copied API key into the code. And uh, also you will need your Wi-Fi SSID and password for data uploading. If you can read the temperature and humidity data from the serial port, it means that you have done it very well. And uh, also the data can be uploaded now to the SimSpeak platform. After this short tutorial, I wish this project can help you a little bit about how to build an IoT project. And maybe next time you can try to monitor how much calorie your cat has burned in each single day at home. If there's anything you are interested in, please let me know. Enjoy and have fun.